Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Restoration Renegades. I'm your host and official Restoration Renegade, Jeremy West. And today I have with me two experts from Dalworth Restoration. And he opted to have the diesel truck just haul his supply of beard balm, Nick Hobbs. She's been accused of being a perfectionist, but she doesn't care. The thick skin, Robin the Crocodile Kent. And of course, last but not least, the official Restoration Renegade. He's actually a redneck renegade, Mr. Jason Ward. All right, guys, so we have a very important question here because a lot of us have one of these, and if it's not in our home, it's in a business, and it is how to stop a water heater after a leak. Yeah, I can speak from just my own home. Hot water tank is, uh, it's in a really tight area in a closet. I think my wife could probably reach the bottom valve on this thing, but the top cutoff valve, I don't even think she could reach that thing. And mm -hmm. even if she could, sometimes those valves go bad through, you know, if the water's hard and you've got calcium buildup, sometimes you can't even close them all the way. So it may not even be a solution for your wife to turn it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess it's important to get the initial source of the water cut off, but then once you cut that off, it could still leak, right? Yes, but you can't close the valve off, the water's still going to keep going into the tank. So um, at that point, you need to, to get a plumber out there to, to take care of it and a mitigation company, a restoration company to come out and mitigate any water that may right. be present. Yeah, because you could assume that if you find the leak, that doesn't answer the question, how long has it been leaking? Right, right. right. You still have to take care of the leak, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. So you still have, it's two parts. You've got the plumber, and then you have to have a restoration company come in there and, and do the drying, so. Mm -hmm. We also have a video, if you click the link below, we did one on mold. How fast does mold grow after the leak? So there, this, this could be a, a compounding issue. Uh, Absolutely. And I would imagine that hot water is, uh, it has a whole other set of problems that it can bring up too, right? Because yeah, it's hot. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Perpetuate that growth. Absolutely. All right, guys. So if you had a water heater fiasco, call a plumber. But if there's damage, don't just take the plumber's advice for a restoration company as they may be affiliated with, affiliated with a subpar restoration company. Instead, go to restorationrenegades.com to find the official renegades in your area. Now, make sure that you subscribe to our channel, restorationrenegades.com, and smash that like button as well as click the bell so that you get all of our future episodes about topics such as these. I think you're really gonna like them. And of course, tune in to our next episode on Restoration Renegades. We'll see you next time.